This is Mr. Burley at the York Catholic District School Board. This is a Photo P tutorial, uh, introductory tutorial. Uh, Photo P is a browser based uh, photo editing software, not unlike Photoshop. Has a lot of the same tools in it, uh, has the look and the feel of Photoshop. Uh, it is free and it is browser based. Um, the thing with it being free, obviously, we're going to have some ads, which we have over here on the right hand side. If you look at it, you can see them here. But it still works wonderfully well, and you can save the files in pretty much any format you want. So we jump right in and go File New, and up comes this window here. And this is the size right now that we're just going to create one this size, call it New Project, whatever, name it here. Um, it's going to be white. These are the pre-sized to, uh, template. So over here, these are templates you can use if you want to. Or over here, if you're say you're making a Facebook cover page or an Instagram story, story page right here, you got YouTube covers, Twitter profiles, Twitter headers. They're all all the specific sizes. Um, you have print if you wanted to print an eight by eight and a half by eleven piece of paper and you wanted a picture to fit it. This is where you where you'd do it here. Photo sizes, so photos for your wallets and different things like that screens so if you want to make your own background on your computer you'd find out the size of your computer screen and you could make something exactly so you wouldn't have to shrink it it'd fit perfect mobile in here mobile phones so if you want to make a background image for one of your mobile phones uh, they have all the pre-sized ones here I was a little disappointed to see they didn't have Gal uh, S10 Plus, but they have the S8 Plus. Um, but I could just put my sizes in here. You could create your own size. But these are just advertisements here and so on. So right away, I'm just going to jump in. I'm going to create one new one. Now, first thing we want to do is bring an image in. The easiest way to do that is just bring it right from... So if you had pictures here, like so on, you could just bring drag them down. So I've got a couple on my desktop. I can just drag it in like so. Now, first thing you notice is that this picture is it's a bit off. So I'm going to grab the grab it here, hold the shift key down. I'm going to bring it down. If you hold the shift key down, it won't change the aspect ratio. Without the shift key down, you can see what's happening there. So Control Alt Z, bring it back to where it was supposed to be. Let's undo. If I hold the shift key down, in the end. Now it, now it stays the same exact aspect ratio. So I want to rotate it a bit because you can see it's not quite straight. And there we have it. So again, shift key down, make it a little smaller, make it a little smaller yet, move it around. Now I want to bring in another image. There you go, my cute dog, Harley. Shift key down. Bring it over like this. Now... And I'm moving this image, but this one's not moving. That's because I'm on a different layer. So if I click this guy here, I can move this one down. Now, the other thing is you can do, too, is you notice how he is over top of that image. If I grab it over here in this tree, I can change where that is. So you can grab your, move things around on your layer tree. Um, bring it back to the full size. <clears throat> now... I can do over here, I'm going to leave that one, I'm going to come over here, I'm going to right click this one, and I'm going to say uh, blending options. And when you get into the blending options, these are the different things you can do in here. So I can hit click drop shadow, and you can see the shadow. If I select, so the, this is going to be the area you can change things, but you have to click beside drop shadow in order to do this. I can change the angle, I can change the distance spread the size of it and all the rest of it i can change outer glow we can do inner glow um here click on the inner glow distance and you can see it changes things like that inner glow that was inner shadow and click inner glow and i can create an inner glow for it <clears throat> but what we're going to do right now is we're going to go to stroke so i'm going to click stroke Select here, and right away you see it's red. I'm going to change that to black. Okay, and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, like so. And I'm going to click OK. Now over here, you see EFF. That is, if you click the down arrow, these are all the different things that are applied, all the different effects that are applied to this particular image. Right now I only have stroke on. You can see that I played with the other ones, but I didn't keep them on there. I, I remove them. So now if I come here and right click here, I can go layer style, copy, and I can paste that onto the other, this one here, right click, layer style, paste. And now 
both images have the same effects. So you can copy effects that way. Now, I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to keep this layer here, and I'm going to get rid of Harley. I'm going to delete that, and so the whole layer is gone. Now what I want to do is I'll go back to this layer, and I want to select here, and I want to move it to around. And if you'll notice, well, first of all, I'm going to do is I'm going to make it bigger. Shift, shift, keep, oh, shift, and make it a little bit bigger. And if you bring it back and forth across, you'll see the red line. When the red line is there, it means that it's in the center. So if I go up and down, that image is perfectly centered. Now I'm going to bring it a bit above. I'm not going to leave it the way it was, but I am going to have it centered this way. Now what I want to do is I want to paint the background. I want to paint the background black. So I'm going to select background. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to select this. And I'm going to change it to black. And then I'm going to click the Paint Bucket tool, which is right here under the Gradient tool. So in these tools, um, back up for a second, this is your toolbar over here. This is where all the tools, the editing tools, are going to be located. This is your menu bar across the top. And the this are the thing, the, this layer here is whatever you can change. So if you click the Brush tool, these are all the different options within the Brush tool. Text, these are all the within the Text tool. Over here, you have your layers. You can close these things at in and out. You can shrink them right back. Personally, I like to have this open so my layers are always active and I can see my history and, and so on. Um, these tools here, each one that has a little arrow, if you click it, or left click it, right click it, sorry, you can see all the different tools that are available in the sub menu. So we're going to click here, paint bucket tool, like that. Um, the other thing you can notice too is you'll see here G. See the G? That means if you select press G or press B on the keyboard, you'll get the brush tool. So those are quick keys, I, C for crop, and so on. So with the background selected, black, OK, paint bucket, and click here, it creates black background. Now the problem now is my stroke. You can't see it because it's a different color. It's black. So we're going to change the stroke black into here, into our stroke menu. And I'm going to change the stroke to white. So we can see it. And I'm going to make it just a bit smaller. Maybe something like this. That looks good there. Click OK. Now I want to come in and I'm going to put some text. So click the text tool. And I select white. Click OK. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And I'm going to come down here and select. I'm going to take this. Select tool, move tool rather, bring it over. Oh. Lock in my lock, I have a lock on it. I'm going to select it back to my move tool, so I'm going to just position it, whoops, like so. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut all this black. There's a lot of extra black here that doesn't need to be there, so I'm going to click my this tool here. I'm going to come in here, my crop tool, I'm going to bring it down. Maybe bring it over a wee bit. And then you're going to click OK, confirm, and it cuts the thing off. All right, so now I'm going to bring in a new layer. And the new layer is going to be above the image. Or sorry, below the image, above, above the black background. Over here and grab this, this guy. Do something like this. Now I'm going to paint these little guys in here white. So I'm going to come over here and change the color to white. And I'm going to get the brush tool. And I'm going to select a little bit bigger brush tool maybe so it's a bit faster. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to just color this guy in white. I guess I should have been. Now you want to make sure you get right to the edge because when you once you take the deselection tool thing away, it's you can see it if your ed edges aren't perfect. So let's go right down there. Paint him all in nice. 
Laura did the same thing to here. Okay, and one final around the outside just to make sure. Now I'm going to come over here and get this tool again. This time I'm going to come in here like this. And with it highlighted, I'm just going to hit delete. And you can see it cuts out that section. All right, so now I'm going to go another new layer. And I want this layer to be above my image. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do my paint tool. And this time I'm going to grab this big guy, 75. And it's set to white. And I'm just going to come here and just kind of do some painting like so. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to get my eraser tool. And I'm going to come down with the eraser tool. And I'm just going to erase whatever pieces like this. I'm not trying to do anything specific. I'm just trying to show you how things work. So I take it like that. Now, if I right click here, blending options. Oops, sorry. Uh, here, normal. I want to, I'm selected on that layer. So let's select normal and overlay. And now you see it just fades it out and overlays it. So this looks kind of nice down here. I might go back up here and get rid of some of this stuff because it doesn't really match. There, that looks better like that. Okay, so that's the first stage. Um, so these ones we learned how to do layers and bring images and stuff in. So go ahead and with yourself now and find yourself an image and, and do something along these lines play around with that just to get the hang of it. Now what you want to do is file. You can save the project right now, right here, or you can export it. So if I want to export it as a PNG file or a JPEG or a GIF or even a PDF, I can select through in, in here. But if you want to just save it as a working file, like say you're in the class and you, you want to continue on it tomorrow or you want to continue on it tonight when you get home, you just click save as PSD and it'll save that file. We can open that file up afterwards. Okay, thanks for watching.